Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video, we learned how to implement YTD versus previous YTD sales as well as how to find out quarter to date sales versus previous quarter to date sales. In this video, we will learn how to implement MTD versus previous MTD sales. I strongly recommend you to view video which I have created on month start and month end. To understand the basics of click set analysis, please look into my previous few videos on set analysis. Now to find out month to date sales, we need to find out first what is the month start. So I, I can say month start today, it will give me start of my today's month, means my current month and today's date is 16th of March 2022. Same way. If I want to find out start date of my previous month, then it is month start today minus 1. It will give me 1st of February 2022. And to find out the end date for my previous MTD, I need to use add months function and I will say add months today minus 1. So it will give me one month back but the same date as of today. So it is 16th of February 2022. Now I will try to implement this start and end date in my set expression. So I will write first sum of sales and then I will write my set expression. I will say order date equal to greater than equal to dollar sign expansion less than equal to dollar sign expansion here it will be my start date and here it will be my end date so my start date for MTD is my this date and end date for my MTD is this so the total is coming 40179 we will validate our end result later on but meantime I will also write down here order here means I am bypassing my all calendar filters order quarter order month year order month order week order week day and I will also write here proper number format. I want my this end result in this number format. Now the same I will implement for my previous MTD. But here only difference is my start and end date. So I will keep greater than equal to dollar sign expansion and less than equal to dollar sign expansion for my order date modifier. And now I will copy paste from my KPI and I will say greater than equal to this and less than equal to this and it. So the value is 57383. Now how to validate this result? I will first write down here my month start greater than equal to my current month less than equal to today's date and I will enter it so I will get 40179 which is the correct result of my first KPI. Now for my second KPI which is previous month to date I have to write here greater than equal to 1st of Feb 2022 less than equal to 16th of Feb 2022. Enter and I will get the result 57383, 57383 which is correct. I will remove this QTD sales I don't need here. Okay. So now I can create variables for this. So the first variable I will create is for VMTD sales. And my definition is this. I will create it. Then my second variable I will create for previous MTD sales. So 
So I will say v previous MTD sales like this and then create it. I will create now vp v MTD versus previous MTD sales and it will be with dollar sign expansion and I will use number format here I will say and the same I will implement for percentage difference so I will say sales percentage and the expression I will use here is v v mtd sales versus previous mtd sales with dollar sign expansion divided by v previous mtd sales so this will give me percentage difference compared to my previous mtd sales and here I will say in percentage format and now all of this expression I will use as a measure here. So I will say first one is MTD sales. So this is my MTD sales. Now here is my previous MTD sales. And I will give label name as previous month to day sales the third one is MTD versus previous MTD sales and I will say difference and the fourth one is my percentage difference and this will be my percentage difference so this is how you can implement M mtd versus previous mtd we learned how to create set expression for month to date how to ignore all other calendar filters we also learned how to ignore all the selections from other calendar fields while writing set expression how to find out start and end date for mtd and start date and end date for previous mtd how to create variables, how to find out the difference between MTD versus previous MTD and also how to find out percentage difference. Hope you like my video. Please do subscribe and comment. Thanks and have a great day.